those. So we're going to just kind of go over, you know, what these are, but to start things off and kind of give you a better picture about them in specifics, um, I grabbed a couple numbers here and some statistics on these types of scams. So the FBI calculated that the total loss to U.S. companies for business email compromise in 2018 was $1.2 billion, with the average loss of one time, one incident from BEC, the average um, cost to the small to mid-sized business from the FBI in 2018 was $64,000, and that's up from $43,000 in 2017. So not only are we seeing an increase in the rate of incidents for these, but they're also impacting and causing more damage fiscally to you guys year after year after year. So what is a BEC scam? So the term BEC scam stands for business email compromise. It's also referred to commonly as CEO fraud. Um, cyber criminals use BEC scams to trick or convince, that's the goal, is to trick or convince your employees and staff into performing desired functions. Uh, traditionally, that's gonna be either getting your employees to hand off valuable information or data or transferring of funds. Oftentimes, criminals are going to impersonate C-level executives, owners, and financial decision makers. So the reason for this is that these, again, these are email scams, so these are going to land in your inbox, and a criminal is going to impersonate a C-level executive, a decision maker related to finance, or an owner, because very often what they're leaning on or what they're counting on is that by impersonating a CEO or an executive, the employee is not going to think. They're going to think later and act first because oftentimes um, you know when you get a request from your boss you're gonna do it right 